you know, I want to focus the conversation and, you know, the, the first question is that if you were in college today, what would you major be? Would you even go to college? It's an interesting question. Uh, okay, first question is what would I be studying or interested in? So when I, uh, you know, I grew up in England and, the, you know, I was a kid in the 1960s and so on when space was the big thing. Right as it was then, as it perhaps is again now, with a 50-year gap. Um, and so, you know, I followed all the various spacecraft and things like that. And I was interested in that partly because it seemed like the future, and I was interested in the future. And so, interested in that, then from that I got interested in physics, and sort of studied physics as much as I could when I was like 10, 11, 12 years old. Ironically, a project that I kind of got interested in when I was 12 years old about some the second law of thermodynamics. I'm finally finishing that project now. Really? So 50 years later. So that, that's um, uh, uh, that's a funny thing. But anyway, se separate topic. But but no. So I got interested in physics. It so happened that in the mid 1970s was kind of a golden age for physics, and so it was a time when quantum field theory was really discovering all kinds of things, all kinds of experimental results were coming in. It was super exciting field. So for me, that was sort of the obvious field to work on because it was the exciting field at the time. I mean, what you, what you generally see in kind of the rhythm of how things work is, you know, some methodological advances made. Maybe it's an experimental thing, maybe it's a methodological thing, you know, maybe it's a theoretical thing. And then some field gets really exciting for five or 10 years because there's lots of low-hanging fruit to be picked. And, you know, that meant that when I was a you know, mid-teenager or something, I could discover a bunch of things in physics which people still care about today because it happened to be a time when there was, you know, juicy, low-hanging fruit to pick. So the fact that I was doing physics was a consequence in large part of the fact that it was a hot thing at that time. And so when I, well, you know, I went to college kind of early and I was sort of... Um, uh, see, the problem is when you ask a question like, what would I major in college in? today depends on whether it was the same me with different you know with the same kinds of constraints whether it's the um, uh, whether it's kind of a a different uh, a me that might have arisen in you know modern times where different things are the exciting things I mean you know in the last few years I mean I get to see this from our summer camp and summer school and so on students come in every year and they're always like we want to study this kind of thing right. where this is the popular thing of the time so it had been, there was a brief period when it was blockchain. Um, I think that one died too quickly because I think that one actually has an interesting tale. Um, then there's been a longer period when it's machine learning. Everybody wants to do machine learning. Right. That one, I think that wave is, is very crested at this point. It's, it's, um, uh, and then, you know, it's, it's the question. So if you say, what would I study 